Hey guys, this is Triforce One. Welcome back to Let's Play Twilight Princess. In the last part, we arrived at Kakariko Village and started looking for some shadow bugs, but we still have four more to collect. I stopped because there is uh, four more left, and they were all kind of far away. So, um, it's kind of unfortunate that I had to make such a long part. I, I really thought I was going to be able to get it in like less than 15 minutes, but I wasted too much time um, going for the wrong ones. I should have went in a certain order. But, uh, I'm sorry for that. And we also found a Howling Stone here, so we're gonna get our next, uh, I guess, hidden skill later on. But, uh, no, that's not gonna be until much later on, since we're still in the twilight. Um, there's two more- Ah! That hurt. There's two more Shadow Bugs up here, and there's one that I actually forgot back in the village. So we're gonna go ahead and get that. But, uh, very important thing up here. Death Mountain! That does not sound very pleasant. And, oh no, there are more of these creatures. More of these shadow beasts. And there's four of them now. So let's uh, go ahead and... Oh no, there's there's one back here. We'll go ahead and deal with him now. So we don't have to... Yeah, first things first, deal with that guy. And then... I just wanted, I wanted to deal with the... Oh, there we go! Aha, got you. What's up? Make another portal for me, gentlemen. Thank you kindly. And it's time to look for the last two shadow bugs. They are around here somewhere. Grab the heart. I know they are around here somewhere. No, I don't want to warp. I'll warp later. Ah, the one's right there. If I can grab you. Come on. Fetch. No. No. Gotcha! Alright. And, you know what, I think I'm going to warp back to the village, because I don't want to walk all the way back. Grab the thing, man. Link. You're slacking. Alright. So apparently there's one more somewhere. I don't know where. It's got to be up there, somewhere. But how do we get up there, is the question. Oh. Jump, jump, jump. There you go. Okay. Wait for the steam to pass, or dissipate. Go! There we go, okay. So there is one more shadow bug up here. Somewhere. No, 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 I, didn't, I took the wrong place. And I feel rumbling! Oh crap, the volcano is about to go and explode! You, we gotta be careful. Watch your footing. Go before the steam comes back, there we go. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap! Ah! Thanks for the whistling noise. Landing right on top of my butt. And we'll do the same thing. The last shadow bug, or the second last shadow bug, because I forgot the first one. Ah! Is it down here? Ah! I see you. No, get away! Get away! Piss off! Okay, I get you first. Get away from me, jerk. You too! Leave me alone! Let me grab the... Let me grab the... There we go. Alright, now, let's go ahead and warp back to Kakariko Village, because I'm way too lazy to walk there. And it's much more convenient to warp, in my opinion. Alright, so let's see if we can find that last shadow bug. I think I messed up big time on the location of where it was. I can see you peeking out of the I can see you peeking out the window, buddy. So it's somewhere over there. Over yonder. I don't know if it's down here or up there. That's the that's the mind boggling question. So for the third time, which we should only have done it once, we're gonna go back into this or a little building here. Up here. It looks like a factory of some sort. We'll figure out what this place is for soon. But, uh, yeah. Let's go up here. Ugh. I shouldn't be in this building so often. As often as I have been. It should just be once. And that's it. It's one time only. Now, is it up there or is it not up there? Can't see anything with these stupid senses. Move, you stupid bats! And you, you mister, you can go to hell and... Do not push me off, I swear. 
That was too close. Do not push me off. You are such a big fat jerk. Go to hell in a handbasket. Go away. Alright, we're supposed to dig in here. That's what I was supposed to do. I am an idiot. I am a complete moron. I don't know why I didn't think of doing that in the first place. We could have finished gathering all the shadow bugs because of this. But no, me and my stupid... See, this is what happens when you get electrocuted by the shadow bugs. Me and my stupid face decided to jump off the building and I was like, screw this. I'm just going to go ahead and get the ones in Death Mountain. So that's the reason why I screwed it up. I could have finished this a long, long time ago. But I just had to prolong it. Well, anyway. Let's listen to the beautiful music. The vessel of light is full of tears and light has returned to this area. I'm back in human form. Oh, I was just starting to have fun. Don't forget that few shadow. See you later. Peace! I never got tired of those little droplets. Whoa. Whoa, it's a giant butterfly eagle? It's an eagle butterfly. It's an owl! My name is Elden. I am one of the light spirits of Hyrule. I am the spirit that guards these lands. O oh, great hero chosen by the gods. The dark power you seek lies in the sacred grounds of the proud mountain dwellers. But already those grounds have been defiled, draped in shadow, and seeded with evil. You must go to those sacred grounds and cleanse them. Alright, you got it, sir. We will go to those sacred grounds and cleanse them. Was that really necessary? Couldn't you just disappear normally? Whatever. Well, um, before we go to the thick grounds, another cutscene is going to ensue. Uh oh. Link? What a jerk. Aww. Call it. Mallow <laughs> just looks at him like, whatever. See, Beth? I told you Link would save us. You are the one from the Ordon whom these children spoke of. We are well met. I am Renato, shaman of this town. And this... This is my daughter, Luda. Ah, ha, ha, poor Barnes. Maybe I should give him a southern accent, because he looks more like a... Hi, ah, I'm Barnes. My name is Barnes. I gave him a British-ish accent last episode, but I'll change that up. The beasts took us and left us to die, but Mr. Renato found us. At first, I couldn't believe they had come from so distant a place as the Ordona province. Yeah, I... We don't remember much. All of a sudden, everyone was captured, and then, until now... It's been like... A nightmare. Yeah, it was like a terrible dream when we couldn't wake up. Hmm, nightmares are everywhere these days. It seems this village has certainly seen its share of recent hardships. The dark beasts attacked, but even worse was the sudden and inexplicable change in the mountain-dwelling Gordon, Goron tribe. Gordon tribe. They had long been our friends, but suddenly treated us as foes. Even now, they refuse to permit us entry into their minds. It strains the limits of belief to think that such a gentle and proud tribe could change so suddenly. It makes me wonder if something in those minds is the cause of this change. 
In any case, you must take the children and flee this village before those nightmares descend. I, of course, cannot leave my village at such a time. There is no telling what may happen to us here. But it is my job to try and coax the Gorons back from their recent change of heart. What? What are you giving me that look for? Okay. Whatever. I don't want to leave all these people just to save ourselves. Come on, Link. Can't you do something? Isn't there some way to make up with the Gorons? You'd think someone could go to the mines and do something. Which is what I plan to do right now! I'm not going to go kill them, but it looks like I am. Let's see if those Gorons can't learn a thing or two about a man with a sword. How's about that? Huh? Let's go and beat them up. Beat the, beat the, beat the answers out of them. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I have nothing to say at this point, I'm sorry. <sighs> Alright, let's see what you want. Let's see what you got. Let's go ahead and climb. We can, uh, Even though the ladder is destroyed, we can still climb the uh, grate. Apparently, um, some people speculate that this little cavern that's been blocked off was uh, the Dongo's Cavern from Ocarina of Time, and now it's been blocked off, which is kind of interesting that they added that. Oh, crap. Ah! No humans allowed! These lands belong... These lands ahead belong to the Goron tribe. The others said no humans may pass. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Um, I'm gonna get hit! Come on! Ah! Crap. A weak spirit is no match for the might of the Gorons. Do you understand me, human? Then away with you! Dang. What am I supposed to do now? Crap, I can't do anything. Oh, we're gonna have to get out of here, see if we can find anything stronger, maybe some nice gloves or something to hold the Goron. Or just, you know, be able to sidestep it or something. Ah, how fortunate you are in those in one piece. I saw you heading up the mountain trail, so I was worried. Are you trying to reach, reach the Gorons of Death Mountain? It is far too dangerous, Link. They recognize only strength. A normal person could never persuade them. But, I do know one person who is able to best them and earn their trust. His name is Bo. You may know him as the mayor of your hometown, Ordon. Please go to him, and while you are there, please let him know that the children are safe. Of course, getting them back would be best, but we cannot step keep them safe from harm from the monsters on the road without the horse and cart. Please return to Ordon and inform the parents that their children are free from harm. Give them my word. Oh, great. No, now we have to go back to Ordon Village. Okay, well, let's go ahead and grab our horse, I suppose. That's the fastest way we are, we can get to Ordon Village. Our horse! What the heck? Epona! Hey! Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Epona, stop! Epona! Epona! Heal, girl, heal! Hey! Oh. oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Slow down! Oh no, Epona! Epona! Get back here! Epona, you're a bad girl! Come on. Epona! Stop that. Epona, Epona, Epona! Let go! That's a good girl. No! Epona, get back here! Stop! Stop freaking running around the circles! Hey! Hey! Epona! 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 Bad horsey! Bad, bad horsey! Epona, calm down! Calm down! Epona, why aren't you listening to me? Okay, just try and hold on with the control stick. Uh, use the control, like, it'll, it'll give you directions on... No! You're supposed to basically keep a um, level, like keep a, a vertical level with your horse. So don't go too far. There you go, there you go, there you go. And... Old A to C is there, finally! Alright. 
What's with all the fuss, Epona? That's a good girl. Okay. Alright, so now that we've got our horse back. What? You're not too shabby as a wrangler after all. Won't make this won't this make getting back to your town a lot easier? Now go finish your errands so we can get back. Get to move on. Alright, so now that we have Epona back, finally, that we calmed her down after much too long. Um, this is sort of making up for the last part being way too long, 20 minutes long, in fact. And in the next part, we're going to be heading back to Ordon Village on our cute little horse, Epona, now that she's calm and everything. Very nice. In the next part, we're going back to Ordon Village and talk to Bo, the mayor of our village. But in the next part... What? Stop saying in the next part. We're doing all that stuff in the next part, but for right now... This is Triforce Plus One, signing off.